Hello AOS fans, it's me Pete and I'm here to give you a deck video. This week I'm playing Iltharis Champions and I've not played Iltharis Champions yet. Robin's had a chance at them but I've not had a go so this is my turn to take him out for a spin and I'm coming up against Robin with I think he's going to play the hunt, but I've tried to, as normal, try to keep my deck as neutral as possible, the kind of deck you'd take to a tournament. So, without further ado, let's crash on with the cards. Starting with the objectives, I've got change of tactics, I think that's nearly always a must have in your deck. Escalation, again, I think it's nearly always a must have in your deck. And then I've got Master of War, I don't think that's going to be too difficult to score in there, but it's only one glory, but I think it's quite an easy one to win. I've then got Superior Tactician, again I think it's a card that you're nearly always going to take and this is where things get a bit weird, I've only got those three restricted objectives and I only have four restricted cards in my whole deck. I may regret that I don't know, the next card I then have is Victory After Victory which is scored in phase if you score three or more objectives in this round. Now I've got seven instant scores so that should be fairly doable. Lithe Spirits after that, play two reactions, well they all have a reaction pretty much and I've got a few reaction cards so that should be doable. And then Reclaim the Lamentiri which is basically hold all the objectives in one player's territory. Now I'm hoping with some of the other cards I've got in here that should be easy to do as well. And then have Song of Hatred which is cast two spells in that phase which should be fairly achievable with Ulthari. Calculate Risk which again I think is a must have in any deck and will soon enter the banned list I think or at least the restricted list. Death from afar after that, which is score immediately when you take an enemy fighter out of range while at least three hexes away. Well, I've got two range attacks in this warbone, so I'm hoping I should be able to achieve that. Scorched Earth, which is destroy an objective, and Sorcerer Scouring, which is kill someone with a spell. Now, with Ilthari, I should be able to score most of those. I am going to need Ilthari for a lot of this, so she is my main focal point for this warband. I want to keep her alive as much as possible. Overall 17 glory, 7 instant scores, 1 third end phase. I reckon this is an achievable deck. And it mostly relies on me just getting on with my own stuff and maybe trying to kill a few of Robin's people off. But I don't have to worry too much about what he's up to. So, what gambits do I have to help me score that glorious glory? Well, these are those. I've got healing potion because healing my guys will inspire them. Ready for action because why wouldn't you have that in your deck? Again, I think it's a must have for everybody. Healing Am 4 and X, which is basically healing potion but... Galagan specific or someone next to Galagan. Lost Guardians, which I do like this one, put someone on guard that will help me with change of tactics, pretty simple. Leech Power after that, I like this one because it helps you inspire Thari automatically and destroy an objective so that helps with Scorched Earth and helps inspire at the same time. Pangs of the Great Lack next, which is one damage but it's a nice 5 range attack spell so that's very handy to use. Revenant Rage after that, plus one dice for the next attack. Abyssos Unmaking, destroy an objective, well hopefully either that or Leech Power will help me score Scorched Earth and both of those combined should help me score Reclaim the Lamentiri by destroying all bar one objective in my half hopefully. Damning Pact after that, choose a wizard, they suffer one damage but for the next spell any damage that they cause from their spell will be one additional damage. So that could mean that she ends up with a range three damage with her regular shooty spell and if I roll a crit she'll heal the wound afterwards which is nothing to be sniffed at there. And then has Sphere of the Akshi, and this is a range 4 1 damage spell. So, a lot of damagey stuff in there. Again, I do need Ulthari for this, and I am hoping to keep her alive as much as possible. So, to that end, my upgrades, which I will spend for that glorious glory that I will earn using those gambits. What do I have? Well, the first one is Acrobatic, plus 1 defense dice if you've got dodge. Ulthari rolls dodges, no coincidence there, I shall be taking that. Constant Growth next, plus one wound. Again, that will probably go on Ulthari. Warding Stance after that, and that's for Galagan. That's plus one defense. Now, he rolls two normally, so that will be three defense for him, and any crits he rolls, the opponent, the attacker, takes one damage. And then have Archer's Focus, which could go on Ulthari, or I might put that one on Anne Slain. It depends on how things are going. And then have Champion's Fortitude, reroll defense dice. Probably going to put that on Ulthari, or depending on how things go, maybe Galagan, one of those two. Fighter's Ferocity next. If you roll a crit, you do plus one damage. That will be very handy for Anne Slain. Glory Seeker after that. Plus one damage if this fires attack action on the target with a wound characteristic of four or more. Well again, that will probably go on Anne Slain, possibly or Thari depending. And then Great Strength. It's always nice to have a plus one damage and that will not go amiss. Potion of Rage after that, which is plus two dice. That does work with spells as well, so that will probably go on at Ilthari when I want to cast one of my important spells, but maybe uh, Anne Slain as well for the ranged damage. And then Well of Power. Now this is, I think, a must card for any magic-y spell deck, which is whilst that fighter is inspired, they can roll an extra dice when they attempt to cast spells. So she'll be rolling three dice. Very nice indeed. I will definitely be trying to get that on Ilfari as soon as I can. 
So that's my deck. It's a pretty simple deck. The plan is for me to hunker back in the field, hopefully, try and destroy the objectives to get reclaim the Lamentiri and Scorched Earth. Pretty much just relying on Authority to do everything I need. I've only got three spells in there, so it's not too magic heavy, but most of the stuff I want to do does rely on Authority, so I do need to keep her alive. My setup is going to be pretty simple. Authority in the midfield, and slain near her, and then I'm just going to have the two, you know, heavies up front. Galagan hopefully trying to get in people's way because with all the defences he can get on he could be quite a stubborn mark to move and then Scathale hopefully just throwing him in or her I can't really even work out which one's which here wherever it's need be to just chop a late people up wherever I can so hopefully I can get those healing potions out those healing and fours and things like that to power people up the biggest problem I do over this is I think there's only one way that I can inspire three of my people. Ilthari can be inspired with any spell she casts. I can then use healing Amphora, and then the only other thing I've got is healing potion. I don't have any other way of healing my guy, so I will only ever get three of them healed, so I will have to make my choices and make sure I stick with those early on. So let me know what you think. I don't know about victory after victory. That's the only card I'm not sure on, and possibly I should take it out and put in a, a restricted, more easy to score objective maybe. Not 100% sure. It could be a very nice card to have. It, I do only have 17 total glory scorable there, so it may need, be needed for that. But we shall see. Let me know what you think of the deck overall. Are there any cards that you wouldn't take? Any cards that you certainly would take? Just any other tactics you have about Ulthari, really, because I haven't played them before, and this will be my first game playing with them as opposed to against them, and I really am not sure what to do with them, if I'm honest, but I think I might have a solid game plan there. And I shall see you soon in the Mirrored City. Bye!